Hi, I'm here with another AIM Academy teacher, Vicki Dincher, our science teacher. Vicki, you just want to say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. And Vicki teaches several different science classes. Do you want to just run through them quickly sure. for everybody? Sure. I'm the science teacher. I teach intro to chemistry and physics for middle schoolers, ninth graders. I teach biology, chemistry, and physics. Right. Currently. So how did you get involved with AIM Academy and what did you teach before? What was your experience before AIM Academy? I have my master's of science uh, in biology, but I have a minor in math. So I've always loved science and math. So kind of just goes hand in hand. And I've been teaching, I taught my own four children at home and I have been teaching at large co-ops. Actually, one of them would be it's considered a private school for homeschoolers, a one day a week school, and I have taught the science courses there since, well, I've been teaching uh, biology since 1993 and then add, have added the other ones on. So for since 1993, I've been teaching. I've also taught uh, at the local community college. It's really not a community college, but it's sort of like local college here. I set my courses up just a little bit differently than I think some of the other AIM instructors do where I have pre-recorded lectures uh, for the students to watch. So I have PowerPoint uh, slides and things that I will go through, some videos, different things that I do to explain the concepts that a student is going to encounter as they're reading the text. So that's the first thing that my students will do in their typical uh, course week, the beginning of the week. And then they'll start reading. I assign reading out of the text and to work through some of the example problems. And then I have my live classes midway through our week of uh, the class. And that way I take my one hour with the students and I'll work through problems, especially in like chemistry and physics. We'll do problems together. The things that I know, I've been teaching long enough that I realize the, the different learning styles of students. And so I will approach problems from several different ways, hoping to get that light bulb to go off in uh, areas that I know are going to cause some trouble for them. So we'll spend most of the time as a question and answer, I have certain things that I know students struggle with and that's what I will hit each week and then I leave time to work actually physically work through problems with them. In the biology, we'll spend a lot of time reviewing. Biology doesn't have a lot of math in it, but it has a lot of vocabulary. So we'll do a lot of fun things. I have like Jeopardy games, different things that we'll do. I have a couple of projects that in the in the biology class, uh, we do a cell project where the students are to create a three-dimensional model of a cell. And a lot of them will, will do uh, edible cells. But I've had some great ones where they've actually done skits with puppet sock, uh, sock puppets and things like that to explain the different organelles in a cell, which is it's always a lot of fun. And then the kids get to present that to each other during class. Uh, one of the other ones that I particularly like is a genetic story because they get to use their writing skills then because there's a lot of students that maybe don't feel like they're really strong in the math and science department, but they feel like they've got a good handle on writing. And so this gives them an opportunity to show how much uh, biology knowledge, genetics knowledge they know through creating a story that kind of tells that. So those are fun. And in physics, we do an egg drop where they have to come up with a contraption that will protect their egg from any kind of impact. And uh, they do a balloon popper. So it's a, it's a kind of a Rube Goldberg uh, apparatus where they have to put together 10 simple machines in order to create uh, something that will pop a balloon at the end of it. So we have some fun projects that we do throughout the year. <laughs> Thank you.